The All India Majlis e Itihad ul Muslimin or AIMIM translation, All India Council of the Union of Muslims is a recognized regional political party based in the Indian state of Telangana, with its head office in the Agapura Hyderabad Telangana, India, which has its roots in the Majlis e Itihad ul Muslimin founded in 1927 in the Hyderabad state of British India. AIMIM has held the Lok Sabha seat for the Hyderabad constituency since 1984. In the 2014 Telangana Legislative Assembly elections, the AIMIM won seven seats and received recognition as a state party by the Election Commission of India. The AIMIM was initially a city based party, with influence only in Old Hyderabad, but the party won two seats in the 2014 Maharashtra Legislative Assembly election and emerged as the second largest party in the Aurangabad municipal elections. The party president and member of parliament Asaduddin Awaisi received the Sansad Ratna Award for 2014. The party has long been seen as a political representation of Muslims in the state of Andhra Pradesh, and now Telangana. History The party has roots back to the days of the princely state of Hyderabad. It was founded and shaped by Nawab Mahmud Nawaz Khan Kiladar of Hyderabad state with the advice of Nawab Mir Osman Ali Khan, the Nizam of Hyderabad and in the presence of Ulmae Mashakin in 1927 as a pro-Nizam party. Then it was only Majlis e Itihadul Muslimin Mim and the first meeting was held in the house of Nawab Mahmud Nawaz Khan on November 12, 1927. The Mim advocated the set-up of a Muslim dominion rather than integration with India. In 1938, Bahadur Yar Young was elected president of the MIM which had a cultural and religious manifesto. It soon acquired political complexion and, alongside the Muslim League, were collaborators of British-occupied India forces. After the death of Bahadur Yar Jang in 1944, Qasim Rizvi was elected as the leader. The Razakars, led by Qasim Razvi, were a Islamist, paramilitary organization of self-styled volunteers formed ostensibly to resist merger with india the razakars operated as storm troopers for the mim the 150000 razakar soldiers supposedly mobilized to fight against the indian union for the independence of hyderabad state were in reality responsible for large scale pogroms against the state's hindu majority of unarmed and poor peasants after the Indian annexation of Hyderabad state, the MIM was banned in 1948. Qasim Rizvi was jailed from 1948 to 1957, and was released on the condition that he would go to Pakistan where he was granted an asylum. Before leaving, Qasim Rizvi handed over the responsibility of whatever remained of the Itihad al Muslimin to Abdul Wahid Awaisi, a lawyer. Abdul Wahid Awaisi restructured the party and organized it into All India Majlis e Itihad al Muslimin. After Abdul Wahed Awaisi, his son Sultan Salahuddin Awaisi took control of AIMIM in 1975 and was referred to as Salar e Malat, commander of the community. Topic: <laughs> Party vision and mission. The AIMIM as a political party purports to protect and advance the rights of Muslims and Dalits in India. Leadership AIMIM in Indian politics In 1960, AIMIM won the Malipali Ward of Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. In 1962, Salahuddin won from Pathargati Assembly seat as an independent candidate and later from Charminar constituency in 1967. In 1972, he won from Yakushpura and later in 1978, again from Charminar. In 1984, AIMIM emerged victorious in the Hyderabad Lok Sabha seat and Sultan Salahuddin Awaisi represented Hyderabad till 2004. Since then, Salahuddin's elder son Asaduddin Awaisi represents the seat of Hyderabad. Muhammad Majid Hussain of the AIMIM was unanimously elected as the mayor of Greater Hyderabad on January 2, 2012. AIMIM was once reduced to one assembly seat in Andhra Pradesh in 1994. 
On the 12th of November 2012, Asaduddin Owaisi announced the withdrawal of support to the UPA government, citing communal policies of the current Congress-led government. All India Majlis e Itihadul Muslimin was then supporting Congress, both at centre and at state level in Andhra Pradesh. In the Hyderabad municipality election of 2009, AIMIM won 43 out of 150 seats in the Municipal Corporation of Hyderabad was appointed as Mayor of Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. Muhammad Majid Hussain, Party President Asaduddin Awaisi won the Sansad Ratna Award for his outstanding performance in Lok Sabha. AIMIM made its entry into Maharashtra state by winning 13 seats in Nanded Waghala City Municipal Council polls held in October 2012. AIMIM made its entry into Karnataka State by winning six seats in Karnataka local body elections held in March 2013. In the 2014 elections, AIMIM contested in 35 MLA 20 in Telangana and 15 in Simandra and 6 MP seats in undivided Andhra Pradesh, but was not able to win any extra seats and won the same seven assembly seats and one lone Lok Sabha seat in Old Hyderabad City. In the 2014 elections, in its efforts to win a majority of divisions in the Nizamabad comprising a sizable Muslim population and also the urban assembly seat, the MIM this time focused its attention on the constituency giving at the second priority after the state capital, Hyderabad. MIM won 16 divisions, as much as the Congress, of the total 50 in Nizamabad City Municipal Corporation. However they lost the assembly seat to TRS. Later on, MIM made an alliance with TRS for sharing posts in Nizamabad. MIM also secured the Bainsa municipality by winning 12 wards after a gap of 10 years. The party has for the first time opened its account in Simandra by securing five wards of Adoni municipality in Kurnool district. AIMIM performed very well in Uttar Pradesh civic body elections 2017 and registered victory on 31 seats out of 78 seats it contested. Topic: <laughs> Non-Muslim candidates fielded by AIMIM. AIMIM has fielded Hindus in various assembly and local body elections. The AIMIM selected Alampali Pochia as its first mayor in the city. MIM had three Hindu Hyderabad mayors K. Prakash Rao, A. Satyanarayana and Alampali Pokeya. Amuralidhar Reddy, Hindu candidate being fielded for an assembly seat by Majlis e Itihadal Muslimin from Rajendranagar constituency, though he lost the election. In 2013, local elections party fielded a woman candidate from Hindu OBC, V. Banumathi, who won election against Hahira Sultana from Congress by 1,282 votes. Criticism <coughs> 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 In 2007, elected and serving members of the party made threats against Taslima Nasreen and Salman Rushdie for speaking hatred towards Islam, pledging fatwas against them. While she was in Hyderabad releasing Telugu translations of her work, she was physically assaulted by AIMIM party members led by three MLAs, Muhammad Muqtada Khan, Muhammad Moazam Khan and Syed Ahmed Pasha Quadri, who were subsequently arrested and charged for the brazen attack. AIMIM party leaders have repeatedly made controversial statements while addressing the public. Senior party leader Akbaruddin Awaisi has been arrested and charged several times for incitement to violence and spreading religious hatred. This pattern of identity politics was also evident starting from Akbaruddin's grandfather, Maulana Abdul Wahed Awaisi, who was arrested in 1958 for his own communal and inflammatory speeches. In January 2013, AIMIM floor leader Akbaruddin Awaisi was arrested for sedition, criminal conspiracy, waging war against India, and creating enmity between communities and for his speeches in Nizamabad and Nirmal. Current leader Asaduddin Awaisi and Akbaruddin was also booked for charges related to manhandling the Medak district collector in 2005. Some of MIM MLAs have also been booked for hate speeches. Charminar MLA Syed Ahmed Pasha Quadri has cases registered against him for making hate speeches against Mahatma Gandhi. On 16 March 2016, Waris Patan, an AIMIM MLA in the Maharashtra Vedan Sabha, was unanimously suspended on charges of disrespecting the country for his refusal to recite Bharat Mata Ki Jai when asked to do so on the floor of the Maharashtra Vedan Sabha at the insistence of Bharatiya Janata Party MLA. Ram Kadam. He later said, I love my country. I was born here and I will die here. 
I can never dream of insulting my country. Don't judge anyone's love for the country by just one slogan." He said he was quite happy to chant Jai Hind, Jai Bharat and Jai Maharashtra. Other work Uttarakhand floods of 2013, AIMIM donated relief worth 78.75 lakh rupees for Uttarakhand flood victims in 2013. Apart from cash contribution, AIMIM also distributes basic medicines worth 20 lakh rupees to the victims. Around 5,000 kits comprising essential commodities, clothing and bedding worth 52.75 lakh rupees were also distributed to people in affected areas. The AIMIM also helps by sending a large team comprising party corporators and workers to distribute medicines as well as food kits consisting of essential commodities and clothing to affected people. Floods in Chennai 2015, AIMIM donated over 4 crore rupees aid to the flood affected victims of Chennai in December 2015. The All India Majlis e Itihadul Muslimin AIMIM President Barrister Asaduddin Awaisi donated over 4 crore rupees aid to the flood affected victims of Chennai. AIMIM contributed relief materials like food packets, water bottles, general medicines, clothes, blankets, shawls, umbrellas, utensils, mosquito nets, candles, torch, shoes etc. AIMIM members and party workers from Hyderabad, Bangalore, Mumbai, Aurangabad, Krishnagiri, Kerala, Coimbatore, Velour, Delhi, Pune, Hosur, Salem, Kadapa, Nellar and other parts of India collectively have sent over 45 trucks of flood relief materials under the banner of Chennai Flood Relief Camp. A large team comprising party corporators and party workers distributed general medicines as well as food kits consisting of essential commodities and clothing to affected people. AIMIM also organized free medical camp where specialized doctors treated thousands of flood-affected patients. 2017 floods in Bihar state, AIMIM donated over Rs. 10 crores aid to the flood-affected victims of Bihar state in August 2017. 